This is the Greeley Railroad Station, Union Pacific Depot. There hasn't been a passenger train, at least an Amtrak train, for many years. For a while, after Amtrak first started in 1971, this was an Amtrak stop for the California Zephyr, which bypassed uh, the Rocky Mountains here in Denver. It, it went up to Wyoming and went west that way, and occasionally the Zephyr gets detoured this way, but no longer. But the station is still in fine shape, and as you can see, it's part of the Chamber of Commerce for the city of Greeley. Uh, occasionally, the steam train that Union Pacific runs, and is based in Cheyenne, some 60 miles north of here, will stop here as well for a service stop. The Big Boy is the most recent one that's been through here, but also the uh, 844, which is a, another large steam locomotive. But you know what? There's an adventure lab nearby, and there's another geocache as well. Let's go see if we can find those, and we'll take a look around the neighborhood here as well. There's a lot of bricks with names here. I have to find the right one and get a date off of it. used to be able to log these benchmarks on the website, but no longer. But this is one of the stops on the Adventure Lab. This is the Greeley Pioneer Fountain, which obviously isn't running any water today, but it is the next stop on the Adventure Lab. Just have to answer one question, which I just did. This structure was built in 1907 over in Artesian Well, the well was dug in 1885. This sculpture is called the Promise of the Prairie. It was erected in 1993. There are two more stops in the Adventure Lab. This is the original Greeley High School. It hasn't been used as a school for over a hundred years. It was built in 1895 and used as a school until 1912. This is the next stop on the Adventure Lab. I found enough of the Adventure Lab locations to get the coordinates for the bonus cache that goes with it. I'll find that in a little while. There is one more stop on the Adventure Lab, which is about a mile and a half from here. I'm going to drive over there, but first, let's go back to the railroad station. There's a geocache over there, too. Let's see if we can find that one first. going in this museum today, but I do recommend it. I've been in there before and it's fantastic. You can check out lots of YouTube videos that were taken inside this museum. Check it out and then come in person and see the awesomeness that is this model train layout that's inside. I just have a feeling this is it here. This is the last stop on the Adventure Lab and it was pretty easy to find. Uh, there's also a web camera here, and I could see myself on it. It's not a webcam geocache though, but it is fun to look at yourself on any web camera.
I'm standing here on a bridge across the Poudre River, formerly known as the Cache La Poudre River. The bonus cache for the Adventure Lab is nearby. Hope I can find it. Gee, it's starting to rain. Better make it snappy. <laughs> I spotted this Walgreens cap down below here and thought it was just a cap, but <laughs> it's the cache. Great. I'm going to sign this real quick and head back to the car to get out of the rain. I found a nice cottonwood tree to stand under to record this end of this video. Thanks for watching this episode of Caching with Cadgerman. There should be a link nearby where you can click to subscribe and or like this video. Until we meet again, see you down the trail. Who knows, might even be this trail, Pooter River Trail. One of my earlier episodes, I was on my bicycle on this trail in this very same spot. So long everybody, take care.